suppose when I was young it never occurred to me that you could make any money or even a living doing music. I just had learned to play the piano when I started when I was about two, something like that. And I actually learned to read music before I learned to read. So to me, an A was a note. It wasn't actually a letter or anything like that. So I'd always been playing and singing um, from a very early age. And I suppose it was when I got to about 14 or 15 and I realised how much music was more important to me than so many other things, that it seemed a natural progression to... In the, initially, I did mostly playing. Um, and then conducting and composing sort of secondary um, towards my end of my life at music college. I started with KPM uh, working for a company called Fireworks Music that used to provide live music for KPM. That was back in 1998. And I've worked for them on and off since then, some, some more years I do you know a lot more work other years I do a little bit less because obviously I've been doing a lot of other things as well uh, but you know it for me I think of it as a long-term prospect um, I like the people I like the sort of way they work and it seems to suit me anything else we need to cover apart from that um, bar 34 into 35 I thought thank you very much <laughs> Well, this particular album was has been a long, drawn-out process of various reasons. It was basically through an idea that Robin had um, about the similarities between um, the emotional lives and, I suppose, the practical lives of animals, humans, how there were so many parallels between them. Um, and so we sort of came up with this brief and presented it to KPM. We actually um, edited some of my music to bits of films so they could see how we thought it could be used. And um, they got very excited about it. And um, fully um, joined in, they thought the brief was an excellent idea and the album sprung from there. I don't like to say this, but I can't believe that people pay me to do this because I love it. I, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I mean, there are times when I get fed up with it in times when I'm doing all-nighters and I really think, why am I doing this? But when it comes down to it, I, I really wouldn't want to do anything else. And I've, having been a violinist, a conductor, a pianist, a, a teacher, an orchestrator, all these things, this is the sort of job composing and conducting my own music where I can combine all the skills that I have in, in one, which for me um, is very enjoyable. And I, I love what I do. And I, I mean, I hope people can see that I enjoy it. I certainly wouldn't do it if I didn't.